it's me Katie and I am here with a another video of I'm basically going to have a uh, an updated version of the um video of the uh of me talking about the top the top things why I love about Disneyland Paris and I'm going to talk about the top seven things of what why I love Disneyland Paris okay so so if you happen to be new here on the channel hello my name is Katie King and welcome to my and welcome to my channel I welcome you to my channel so today so make sure you you give this you give this video a big thumb thumbs up and and leave a little comment down down in the comment section down below <laughs> and don't forget to su to subscribe and let's and let's get on with it let's move move things along you know why 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 I can't go to DLP because of lock because of lockdown safe health and safety cautions and yeah, you know why. You you know why I said in the last video. So, so without further ado, here is the top seven seven things what what I love about DLP, a aka Disneyland Paris. <laughs> so kicking in in at number seven is the hotels. There are quite a lot of um ho hotels on site and technically they are and technically they are the Newport Bay Hotel, the New York City Hotel, David Crockett's Ranch and and there is a uh, lodge and a Mexican theme themed hotel which I'm not really sure what the name of it is it called called but hey <laughs> and the and the first and the one right and the hotel that is right over the entrance of the main park is the Disneyland Hotel I absolutely love the Disneyland Hotel and it's so it's very very beautiful it's very pretty it's very Victorian and very vintage the hotel rooms are absolutely adorable and I absolutely love it. It makes me feel like I'm like I'm a pa like I'm a princess living in my own fairy tale castle and it just looks so gorgeous. I have been living I have been staying there for, for a very long while and I absolutely love it and and I think it's the best. And I think it's the best. So anyway, so I have stayed at the uh, at David Crockett's Ranch, the Newport Bay, Bow Bay Hotel, and the New York City Hotel, but not for a while. But I think I'd like to like to go and stay at those ho hotels in the future. I would really love to. So. And uh and uh if you happen to go to Disney to Disneyland Paris, definitely go go to one of those hotels. But not right now. Not right now. Now's not the not the time. I would suggest to uh book a holiday to go to Disneyland Paris maybe next year because of health and safety precaution to be to be more safe and I know it may seem a long way way off even for me but but it is but it would give me some something very very exciting and joyful to look to look forward to and it will give you and it will give you guys something to look forward to as well okay moving on to number number six is the restaurants there are plenty plenty of restaurants around around the around Disneyland Park. Some of them are five star restaurants. Some of them some of them are um fast food restaurants and some of them are in between are in between really. 
and they and they do a wide range of different of different sorts of food. There is the uh, Annette's Diner, which I which I happen to eat at. It is really really good. It's a really really great hotel, and I personally really really like it. And uh, to be honest, I absolutely. Then there is the uh, Blue Lagoon restaurant in Adventureland, which I didn't really like per chance. And yeah, I didn't really like it, to be honest. I would, I would recommend, not recommend it to you guys. I definitely recommend not to go, not go there. Then there is the, uh, then there is um, Cafe Mickey in the, in the Disney Village, which, which I happen to really, really love. You can have lots of interact, you can have lots of um, interactions with, with Disney characters, and you get a really, really ama amazing dining experience. And it's just so beautiful. It's just so gorgeous and amazing. Then there is the um, Disney. Then there is the Disney Princess Restaurant in Fantasyland. I have been there quite a few, quite a few times before, and it is absolutely beautiful. When you, when, as soon as you get there, you get to see, you get to see two fur, furry, furry mice called Susie and Parla, which you didn't know are the are the two mice friends of Dis of Cinderella and they basically go around technically technically to you to each guest um ta table and having a wonderful interaction with you with with you guys and and also four or three Disney princesses sometimes they go on their own sometimes they are attended by their prince and they just have a full on full on talk with you i always have a really really wonderful experience doing that and that's the most magical thing about dlp i absolutely love it <laughs> yeah so so yeah yeah i absolutely love the restaurants there are of course lots of re quite a few restaurants in the uh, Disneyland hotels but usually there's about one one or two restaurants in the in the hotels there is the California Grill there is the inventions in the in the Disneyland hotel which was one which is very the California Grill is very fine dining and very posh and and I quite like and I quite like it there is a uh, buffet, 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 um, buffet area in the inventions, which I really like. I used to, I used to go there every single morning at ten o'clock, ten o'clock to have my breakfast after spending ten, after spending two extra magical hours. So, so, so anyway, so anyway. In at number five is the rides. I mean, shops, the shops, sorry, <laughs> shops, right. In it come, the shops are absent, are really rare, are one of the uh, best parts of DLP. They can sell, they can sell all sorts of, all sorts of merchandise, souvenirs for you, for you to take home. Such as snow globes, mini ears, pieces of clothing, which I really, really love. They also sell jewelry, such as um, such as tia such as tiaras, necklaces, earrings, rings, bracelets, and they also sell cuddly, cuddly toys. Your favorite characters, things that you might need at your in your home, home, home items, and, and, uh, yeah, all sorts of things. I really, really, 
I really, really love, love looking in, looking, looking in at the shops. I think it's really, really one. I think it's really, really wonderful. But personally, I really love. And I re and sometimes I do buy just one item there. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. But here, yeah. but yeah, but yeah. Even if you have a, when you have a very unique experience at D, at DLP, just get, just pop into one of the shops and buy a suit and buy a suit souvenir. You can buy them anytime, anytime you like, and you you won't regret it. Meanwhile, meanwhile, kicking in at number four are the rides. The rides are what makes Disneyland Paris abs an absolutely amazing experience. There are about five five different different lands in the in in the in the park, and each of them five have have um, and each of them have a few have a few few attra attractions there. So, in Frontierland, as it's all Wild West frontier, frontier cowboy and Indian themed, the two, the two ride, the only two rides there is Big Thunder Mountain. There is a little Pocahontas play playground for young for young toddlers to to play in and enjoy, and of course there is Phantom Manor. One of my favourite rides. It has a very interesting. It has a ver a really interesting and dark, terrify terrifying backstory to it. Technically, it's about it's about a uh, a a young lady that wants to ma that wants to marry someone, but her father doesn't work doesn't allow it. There's this great spirit. There's this great spirit called the Thunderbird hiding sleeping in the mountain and one day it got it got woken up and caused and caused an earthquake killing a lot of people meanwhile on the day on the day of the of of their wedding a ma a fan a phantom appears in the appears in in phantom manor and he kill and he actually kills the bride's the bride's groom and and without taking off her dress after waiting for hours at the altar the bride who didn't even take off her wedding dress drop her bouquet of flowers or took off her veil started wandering the ha the house looking for the groom and she's she's still looking in there now yeah, isn't that creepy? Yeah, that's a bit. That's a, that's actually quite quite heartbreaking and a bit upsetting, really. I mean, poor woman, poor woman. She lost the love of her life. Ugh, God, it's horrible. So, mo moving on, in Adventureland, there is the um, there is um. Indy, there is um, Indiana Jones, which is a roller co a roller coaster based off the uh, Indiana Jones fra film franchise. There is a uh, Swiss Family Robinson's Treehouse in in um, in Ad in Adventure Isle, which is based off the uh, the film The Swiss Family Robin Robinson. And of course, there is Pirates of the Caribbean, which, as you know, is based off the Pirates of the Caribbean. Actually, it was actually original an original ride over at Disneyland California on the other side of the world. So, yeah. So, yeah, they decided to, to feature it in Paris. Meanwhile... Moving in fantasy, moving to fantasy land, there is Peter Pan's Flight, which is based off the uh, of Disney's Peter Pan. Then there is um, 
Alice's um, cur Curious Labyrinth. And the Mad Hat Teacups, which is based off of Alice, Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Then there is um, It's a Small World, a cute little, a cute little um, river boat, ri river boat ra ride, and it's a very, it's a really, really wonderful, wonderful ride, and I love it. And some people may find the 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 theme song a bit catchy and annoying but i obviously don't i love it i obviously love it then there is dumbo the fly the flying elephant a carousel classic fairground ride then there is the um then there is the uh journey of pinocchio which is based off the 1940 film, Pinocchio. And going all the way, and, and going all the way back to 1937 is a ride based off Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And then, of course, there is the most spectacular Sleeping Beauty castle. Oh my God. The Sleeping Beauty Castle is absolutely gorgeous. It is so beautiful and I absolutely love it. It looks like it was it was pulled right out of the animated movie. It has little tapery trees and lit the little hills. And the castle looks so beautiful and so gorgeous. The the interior the interior is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and it actually has ta and it actually features um stained glass windows and ta and tapery to tell the magical sto story of the Sleeping Beauty. It's a really really beautiful beautiful fairy tale and I absolutely love it. <laughs> Moving on to Discovery Land, there is there is Star Tours, and of course Discovery Land is based is um, futuristic, and yeah, it's amazing. Then there is um, then there is um, Orbitron, which is a rocket ship which you can fly your own rocket ship. Or auto. Autopia, which is basically you can basically pretend to be a ra a racing car driver from the nineteen fifties. Then there is a Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast, which is really really fun and really really cool. And then there is, and then there is Hyperspace Mountain which is my all-time favourite ride at, D at DLP. It is my ultimate favourite. Then, then, in the Walt Disney Studios Park, there is the flying carpets over Agrabah, Crush's Coaster, Rest to the Adventure, RC Racer, the Parachute Drop, the Stinky Zigzag zigzag spin and there is uh the tram tour um then there is um then there's a uh, tower of terror and that's more or less all the ride all the rides at Walt Disney Studios I just wanted to 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 give a brief mention of the um of the rides at Walt Disney Studios because I think I think they deserve it <laughs> mom, mom, no, mom. Okay. Uh, then I am doing, and then, okay, okay. Moving on, moving on to number, no, number three is the characters. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love the characters. The characters is what makes this movie. Is what makes the uh. Is what makes the uh, 
theme park absolutely an amazing experience. I love the Disney characters so much. They are amazing. They are absolutely wonderful and I and I love them. I absolutely love them. They do they do, do a few a few Disney Disney character meet and greets in, in a few p in in the uh in the lands. There is um they do the classic Disney characters on Main Street such as Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, Daisy, Chip and Dale and <laughs> absolutely amazing. They do have a few meet and greets in the um in the uh in Frontierland with the uh with the cowboys. Technically they they sometimes do um they do Sheriff Woody and ja Jesse and sometimes they even you can even see Princess Tiana and Prince Naveen from from the Princess and the Frog really. Yep. And then there is then in Adventureland you can even see you can see all sorts of um anima char animal characters from the Jungle Book, such as Baloo. You can even see Timon, Rapiki from The Lion King. I even I even saw Jafar Allah and and the genie at in Adventureland too. Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> I haven't met Aladdin and Jasmine just yet, but I'm pretty sure you you guys will. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I will. I I will when I go back there. And I'm pretty sure you guys would as well. So So anyway, afterwards Then in Fantasyland You can meet you can meet all your favourite characters from your animated films starting with starting with um the disney princesses you can meet the disney princesses in princess pavilion which allows you to meet quite a few disney princesses and it's really really go gorgeous i even went to see the princesses that i've seen is snow white ariel cinderella rapunzel and aurora and Oh my god, it is absolutely amazing. You guys would have a really wonderful experience there. Then there is the... And you can also catch the Mad Hatter, Alice, the Queen of Hearts, beside, beside the uh, Mad Hatter's teacups. And you might even even be able to see Pinocchio and Geppetto. I would really, 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 really would love to meet to meet Pinocchio. Discovery Land doesn't have very much meet and greets. You can meet a few a few characters from Star Wars, but I'm not I don't really bother with Star Wars. I'm not really a huge fan of it anyway. So So anyway. Moving on, moving on to number two, and that is the the Disney parades. They're actually used to do used to do quite quite a lot of parades during the day. Like during the day there used to be one one Disney para parade and I remember used I used to watch the uh the wonderful world of Disney parade parade a long time ago when I was very young. They don't really play it anymore. But when I was twelve, they actually show they actually used to show used to show an electronic parade called Disney's Fantalusion, which was an absolutely amazing. I used to absolutely love it. I found some videos on my dad's i iMac and it is such a wonderful experience. I absolutely loved it. And I still listen to the music of it today. Still listen to the music of it. Oh, and there is... And there is also the... And also there used to be another... Another, another 
parade called the Disney Cinema Parade, but in the Walt Disney Studios, which I remember you going to see. But obviously they don't really show that anymore because it was a bit too expensive. I also used to play, used to go and see Disney, the Disney's Once Upon a Dream Parade, which I absolutely loved. And then to celebrate their 20th anniversary, they did a new parade called, um, called the, uh, Disney Magic on Parade. And... The current, the current parade that is happening right now is Disney Stars on Parade, which I last went to see back in Hall back in Halloween of twin, of of twenty eighteen, and it was amazing. It was amazing. I love it. <laughs> it was amazing. Then, and I do, I do wish that they could bring back the. Uh, what what parades did you did you used to go and see? Did you used to go and see in any Disney park? Let me know in the comments below, be, below and and yeah. Moving on to the grand conclusion, the number one is the live shows. Oh my god, I absolutely love the live shows. Yes. I remember it used to, I remember, I remember so, quite a few live shows back in, back, back a few years, a few years ago, when, when I was younger, I used to see, I used to see this, uh, Winnie the Pooh show, which was, which was in, um, which was in, uh, Fantasyland, on the stage, on the, on the castle stage, and, somewhere in fan in fantasy land but obviously they don't really do that anymore but but when i when i watched it when i watched it the other day before i came here it was absolutely incredible it was so wonderful and i absolutely loved it it was so beautiful and so adorable and it was amazing then, however, in but obviously they had to remove it because due to expenses. But they still carried on doing doing ama doing amazing shows. Then, to celebrate to celebrate their their Disney's twentieth anniversary, they had a uh, show called. They had a show called Disney Dreams, which I have really, really magical memories about. It was absolutely incredible. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. I love the soundtrack and it makes me feel so, so magical and absolutely gorgeous. I really, really miss that show so much. But it's still on you on YouTube, so so uh, you you guys could check it out could check it out if you if you want to. Okay, and and they also used to do a few stage shows around around the park as well. There were there used to be a, a Tarzan encount, encounter show, which you followed Tarzan during this great experience show. And I kind of really, and I really, 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 really loved it. I really enjoyed it. It was very different. It was unique. It was based off the animated movie of Tarzan. And yeah, I really, really loved it. Yeah, it had incredible acromatics in it. The guys who played the who played the gorillas and the actors who played who played Tarzan and Jane was incredible. They are so strong and absolutely incredible performers. And I think they were they were actually one of my first inspiration to get into performing arts, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah. So anyway, so anyway, 
So anyway. Next up. So anyway. Next up. There used to be a show called Anima called uh, Animagic at the Walt Disney Studios Park. And I remembered I had so many, so many magical, fond memories of it. It was absolutely gorgeous and really, really beautiful. And really, really beautiful. I still listen to the soundtrack of it. And I, and I got some really, really fond memories of it. It will always stay, stay here in my heart forever. It's very pers it's very sweet and personal to me and it would always remain and I would ab I absolutely adore it. Okay. Meanwhile, meanwhile, there is also this um other show called Frozen Sing Along which happened uh, at the uh, Shapra Theatre. It replaced Tarzan Encounter and basically you get you get to uh, sing along to your favourite um songs from Frozen and and these are there there were some cast members dressed in winter in winter outfits and they were basically come up could go into the audience and pick out a ra a random person to sing a verse of a song and I was actually picked out to sing, to sing a bit of uh, Love is an Open Door and part of Let It Go. And oh my god, it was absolutely amazing. I loved it. I absolutely loved it so much. I never ever forgot, forgot it and it was truly a magical experience. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, um, but then it got, it got replaced with the, uh, with this show called The Forest of Enchantment, which, which is a really, really wonderful, wonderful show, and I absolutely loved it. The costumes and the set, and the sets were absolutely incredible, and it would feature several, several, all of your favourite Disney characters, and... You know that acroma that acrobatic the acrobatics in in Tarzan in the Tarzan Encounter show? Well they actually brought it back for the Forest of Enchantment and Tar and the guy who played Tar Tarzan was actually part of it. Oh my god, they actually brought it back. Oh my god, that is incredible. My god. My god. I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. I love the sound. I absolutely love the soundtrack. A little bit modern for my taste, but but still, I absolutely love it. Then, to celebrate 20 to celebrate 25 years of Disneyland Paris being opened, the uh there was this special Mickey Mickey Mouse show which represented all of the uh which represented each land with a so with a song and a few of the characters spoke English and French in it and yeah I abso I absolutely loved it it was really really different and unique and then la and then also there is a there is also a show a show called um called the uh Starlit Princess Waltz which I happen to which I which I really really love. Each each of the each princess would 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 uh, individually be introdu be introduced and and they would also da dance with their princes and and Aurora will be will be the uh, leading prin princess because the castle is her home. The castle is in the car is in the is in the Disney is in the Disneyland park. So it's her kingdom. She's the le she's the leader of the princesses. And and I flippin' love it. 
it's really really beautiful and I absolutely and I think it's a really wonderful show yeah I do wonder whether whether I'll be able to see it again hmm I might be able to I'm de I'm definitely sure so meanwhile the la the very last show that I'm going to talk about is Disney Illuminations. It is it was created to celebrate 25 five years of Disneyland Park being open to the public and oh my god it is absolutely amazing. It's a really really wonderful ama amazing show. I love I love I love the entire the entire show from beginning to to end and it's just a magical experience to look forward to at the end of the day. It starts at about 11, 11 or 10, depending on what on what time of the year you're, you're in. Usually at 11 o'clock it would usually be it would usually be about about 11. And the reason why they kind of created these shows to just to just so that they can they can get lots of people into the into the park really and yeah i absolutely love it it's an incredible experience and i absolutely love the show it's still well it's not exactly in the in the park at the moment but but uh i'm very sure next year it will be it'll be able to um I'm very sure it will come back, it'll come back, and when it does come back, I'll go back to Disneyland Park as well. Yeah, I really, really miss these things about DLP because right now, DL, because right now these thing, these things are not really happening at Disneyland Paris right now. Yeah, I am very, very sad that I can't really go, but I do really... But I do really, really don't want to get ill or anything by a deadly disease. So I'm just technically going to going to keep my distance away away from Disneyland Paris for now. But but someday in May in but I'm hopefully going going to go there to celebrate my twenty second birthday next year, and ho and hopefully. And I might invite invite my boyfriend Connor to come to come along as well to celebrate his twenty second birthday. Even though I may not have the uh, bestest birthday this year, I can always I can always I can always get very excited and hyped up for next year. So, so I got all these things to look for to look forward to and get excited about, and I would. I the magic would all would always return. So thank you so much for for watching this video and I do hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do and I will see you later. I'll see you in the next video. I'm probably going to do going to do a video tomorrow to just to uh, basically give me something to do on the journey. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!